Hello ladies and gents, welcome back uh, to another round of Kushmik Sounds and um, look this time around I've got uh, one from my personal collection so uh, you know I, I, didn't think I'd, uh, I didn't think I'd sell this one um, I bought it at the time obviously because I loved it and um, it was uh, it came to me basically through a, I answered an ad on Marketplace and uh, this was an insurance replacement for a gentleman who had a, a Stratocaster of his own it was stolen and um, the store in Perth couldn't actually get the exact model in because they were discontinued. So this one, the Lincoln Brewster Stratocaster, um, took his fancy. So they, they ordered that. And the cool thing, well, for me, is that this guitar sat in its original box, sealed, unopened for about 18 months. And, um, yeah, I, I was the first one to open it when I went around and, uh, and viewed this guitar. So it, um, it, was, it was brand new. Um, when I when I acquired it second hand um, it had the plastic on the pick guard everything was it was actually in tune uh, it's a, a round E flat when I when I picked it out of the case so um, I've since taken the plastic off the pick guard so that's uh, hence why I've, I've listed this as near mint um, it, it hasn't left it haven't left, hasn't left my uh, premises so um, I've just played it on the odd occasion it's a fantastic guitar and um, yeah look for those that aren't aware of uh, Lincoln Brewster he's quite a well-known um, guitar player in the states and um due to that and uh, his amount of followers uh, fender had approached him uh, to to make a couple of signature model stratocasters one being this is the first um being in beautiful aztec gold um there's another one now which is i think it's like a it's like a white pearl sort of color i uh, forget the, the actual name of the color but um this is the first one um it's his own signature model and based off a 57 sort of style guitar and um, that's his favorite he plays an original 57 as well um so he wanted to keep the aesthetics of the strat uh intact so to the untrained eye this looks just like a a regular stratocaster um but under the hood so what we've got under the hood we've got noiseless damasio pickups and um, there's a variable 10 dB uh, boost control on here as well. So there's a, a pull pot here. And when that's engaged, uh, that's an automatic boost. So your pickups are all 6K output, um, 6K ohm output. And um, once you engage that boost, you're up to about 10.5K. So, and the boost is variable. So this tone control here, even though it says tone, but keep in mind, Lincoln wanted to keep the aesthetic of the Strat intact. Um, this isn't actually a tone control, this is your variable boost. So you can go from 0 all the way up to 10 dB. And um, quite use, uh, useful actually. If you don't have any pedals on the ground, you can get a little bit, a bit of extra gain. Um, and this tone control is only engaged when you're on the bridge pickup and between uh, the first two. Okay, so uh, just remember that tone control is just for the boost. It's a variable boost. All right, so... Um, what else have we got here? Uh, we've got 22 uh, medium jumbo frets, a synthetic bone nut, and it's a compound radius uh, fretboard on this one. Start, so it starts at 9.5, gradually evens out, flattens out to a 14. Um, 14 inch radius. Uh, it, yeah, really super, super playable, modern playing guitar, this one. Um, vintage style tuners, but these are actually locking tuners. So again, they look vintage, um, but they're actually locking. So really cool. Also on the back, um, there's a, a contour, a heel contour here as well. So that's um, that's actually quite cool. A very, very, look, um, another one of these guitars I'll be sad to see go, but uh, there are a few out there. So maybe at a later date, I might grab another one. Um, but yeah, look, um, I'm not, I'm not going to talk anymore. Uh, it comes with its original case, all the paperwork. There's also a, um, there's also some paperwork um, an A4 page explaining how all these controls work as well. And uh, I've written that on my, looking at my listing here at the moment, um, I've got that written down as well. So um, moving on, let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh yeah, also mentioned as well. So it's a 2023 model, Lincoln Brewster Strat. Push, it's a push-in um, tremolo arm, two-point bridge, uh, Fender logo, bent steel saddles, all chrome hardware. Let's get into it. Let's hear some tones, all right? Start on the neck. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
as well I've tuned this to E flat I've got 10 to 46 strings on it I don't know what it is it just it seems to sit better in E flat this guitar um, so I've, I've left it in E flat <laughs> right now let's engage the boost right <laughs> Pickups, boosts engage, you got a little bit of white noise, but you know, you're on stage, who cares? Sounds great. All right, now let's go to uh, let's go to the um, neck and the middle. user-friendly Fender tones out of this one um, even though it's got the Damasios but they they're really cool sounding pickups and look listen can you hear that no you can't hear anything because they're noiseless I love it all right now let's engage that uh, let's engage that boost <laughs> Let's go to this, um, let's go to the, the middle pickup altogether. I don't know why uh, middle, the middle pickups on strats seem to get, um, they seem to get left behind, but um, I actually don't mind them. guitar because I look I do like it I do like this thing it's really cool but so um, you know I've decided to sell it so someone someone grab it it's a really cool user-friendly guitar this one but let's engage that boost Thank you. 
got it with this uh, boost control engaged. You sort of can't but help hold on to notes. You've just got that that extra sustain, which is cool. So um, yeah, I like it. Um, very. There's so many tones out of this guitar. It's ridiculous. Uh, let's go to um, let's go to the middle and the bridge. <laughs> Two frets if you can get up there. All right, so let's go to this uh, bridge pickup uh, all on its own. <laughs> to this uh, bridge pickup I'll tell you. All right, so let's go to, uh, let's engage it, right? Let's engage the boost. just put it out of tune by a mile but uh, I've been having fun with this and uh, look it's uh, quite a long what are we at almost 15 minutes I'm gonna leave it there I've been having a bit of fun and uh, sorry I sound a bit nasally because I've, I've just getting over a cold at the moment so um, my apologies if I sound a little bit off but um, what a great just what a great guitar what a great strat just a hot rodded strat um, now the boost is operated by a 9 volt battery which you can get to via the back plate so if you want to leave the back plate off all the time Go for it, but um, just a yeah, nine volt battery. Um, and if you're sort of hearing the pickups or the boost not working, obviously change the battery. Um, so yeah, look, um, I should mention as well, it's got like a lacquer tint on the front of the uh, fretboard as well, but um, it's really smooth, comfortable uh, finish on the back. They've taken a lot of that lacquer off, so uh, really easy to play. Um, I think that's about it. I've covered everything on this fantastic Stratocaster. Um, grab it now, available now at Kushmik Sounds, and uh, yeah, it's from my personal collection. Uh, there's also a link to Lincoln Brewster's, <laughs> a link to Lincoln Brewster's website. So if you don't know who Lincoln Brewster is, uh, check him out uh, on the website. Have a look at YouTube videos. Fantastic player as well, and um, yeah, great guitar. All right, I'm going to leave it there, ladies and gents. So um, happy guitar hunting, and I'll see you very soon with uh, another gem. Take it easy.